Fuck it hell, mate. It looks like a bloody refresher lolly. Look at that fucking line. That is not fucking funny. Oh, it's too early. And by that, I mean it's like 9 a.m., but I went to bed at 5. Nine. Oh, hello. Wow. Oh, that was fast. Oh, how long did you sat down? <laughs> what is this doing? Blood pressure. Blood pressure, yeah. Is this going to tell me how extremely stressed I am that I'm here? <laughs> oh, possibly not. <laughs> that was the quickest trip to doctors I've ever had in my life. Thank you. That was literally the quickest trip to doctors I've ever had in my life. That took four minutes in and out in no time. Uh, man, it is a. Oh, my dad's still here. <laughs> I got my dad to drive me down. There you go. All right, let's get a lift home. I was really not expecting that to be that fast. I, before, you even saw it before I could even get my bum on the seat, on the chair. I was done. Hey, man. Wow, man, you won't believe it. My needs magically fit. He gave me these pills. There you go. Take, take some, and and lick this. It licked some strips of paper, some LSD. I mean, what? And chemphilometries. No, nothing. It'll be better. He's referred me to a knee specialist. There you go. That's what we Ooh. said you in the first place. Ooh. And as a thank you for my mum waking me up and booking me an appointment, I'm going to get her some flowers. I nearly like flying headbutt killed my mum this morning because I was up till 5am watching House of Cards and lo and behold, thank you, lo and behold, she rang me 15 times to wake me up out of bed. Like Tom, Tom, get out of bed, get out of bed, and I just kept clicking. Nope, 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 nope. And uh, finally, I read the text. And it said, "You've got an appointment at the doctor's. If you miss it, you'll be blacklisted from your doctor's." That's fucking great. So I got up and I got her flowers. Oh, look at him waiting for me. He's like the best taxi driver ever. I guess it's time for some breakfast at a whopping 10.30 in the morning. Now that is a summer selection of food and drink if I've ever seen it. Mate, that guy looks like summer out the army or H1Z1 or summer. Like, oh, God damn it. Got my bloody sandwich. Look at it, it looks like he's got a flamethrower attached to the back of him. It is now uh, half past 10 in the morning. I'm strolling along in the sun. It's apparently supposed to be a beautiful day in England. All right, this, you and me are not meant to be friends. I'm clearly destined not to eat this damn sandwich. But I do have my sandwich, an orange juice and chocolate bar in my pocket. And uh, I'm starting the day. I might just sit in the sun and just bathe. Story, this is like a reservoir in here. And as kids, we all used to sneak over the fence and stuff like that. But I was small enough that I could sneak underneath that, or maybe that but I could squeeze underneath it and go and play on the river. Fun facts with Tom. We didn't try no breaking and entry like these fools have done. Oh, no, no. That was Tom, the ninjury small midget. <laughs> Next fun fact with Tom, this is Slaytaker Road, where I used to live in my newspapers, to this house. All these, that house, that house, and that was it for this road. Every Sunday, without fail, even if I was up till 6 a.m. playing video games with my friends on a Saturday night, having a sleepover or something, I would come for an hour, deliver I think 140 to 160 newspapers, get 15 quid, and be on my way. And it was like I was like the highest paid newspaper delivery boy in the entire area. <laughs> Next on my tour, I'm on Highcroft. I believe this is called Highcroft, but I'm going to show you a job, because my dad's a builder, that me and my dad hand paved, brick paved, block paved, the drive to. And here it is. Every single one of those blocks in that drive, every single one of them, I took out because someone did a bad job. I took every single one of them out with my dad, stacked them there, and then replaced them. True story. And three quarters of the way through the job, my dad broke his back. So I had to go back and help out even more because he broke his back and uh, he couldn't like do all the bricks himself. So the guy, uh, I think it was Steve Miller or Dave Miller. I think it was Steve Miller. Super nice guy, totally understood. And let me and my dad do the job in our own speed. If my dad's watching this and it's like, no, no, it, no, it did not. Well, that was my interpretation of it. Next fun story. Before I actually bought my house, that one right there, I believe, I think it was that exact one, I almost bought. Mm. Almost bought it, was going to extend it over the garage and backwards, um, because it had a field on the back, so I had loads of room and stuff. Obviously it was a private field, but I think there's a bee attacking me. But I was going to buy that house, 
Then the next day, me and my dad and my sister were walking along my road, and then that's where we found my house before we decided to buy it, knock it down, and build a new one. And alas, I set off at what, 10 to 9, at uh, 10 to 10? It is now 10 to 11. I made it full circle home, and I'm on my road. And would you look at that view? I've got some really bad news for you guys. Do you remember the snail from the vlog the other day? Well, last night when I was coming in, I heard something. I heard, I heard the most awful crunch of my life. And I figured, there's no way it can't be. And I've come to check it this morning. I killed him! Oh, I'm so sorry. Wow, this is a snail massacre going on here. What is all that in the bottom of it? It could either be pollen or some mega wheat. I have no idea what that is. If anyone here watching this in the comments works for like pool companies or hot tubs or anything, what is all this crap in the hot tub? I simply don't know. Hello, mate. How you doing? Are you happy? Are you happy that we got your heat, Matt? We decided that the, the vivarium was a warm temperature, but at nights it was getting a little bit too cool, and I wasn't liking it, because it was making Steve a bit like, laxy daisy doing nothing. So uh, we've, we've installed your little heat mat, haven't we? Underneath here, so when he sleeps, he's on like a nice little warm spot. There you go. A happy little Steven. What do you call this? You lazy git. He's not only stolen my t-shirt, he's stolen my bloody headphones, the cheeky bastard. So bloody hot in England, I'm just kicking back and I, I'm like trying to watch YouTube videos on my phone, but I can't even see my phone, it's that bright. <sighs> Toasty. <coughs> bah! No you in? up there. I know it is. I'm very much expecting to be sunburnt because I fell asleep upstairs. With, I only had boxer shorts on and I set my alarm to wake me up in 15 minutes time. I fell asleep Think for what? an hour. Yeah. So now I'm rehydrating with an ice lolly. Right. Do you want one? No thanks. You don't, why are you wearing a coat? I've just had my dinner. You're wearing a coat on a day like this? Yeah, how's shop going? No idea. It's too nice of a day mate, come on. Oh look at you, you are chilling. Oh, your colour looks beautiful. You really wanted that heat, Matt, didn't you? All right, come on then. Come on, we're gonna go outside. Come on, it's a beautiful day. Come on now. Come on. I got you. I got you. There we go. How are you, Steve? How He's great, isn't he? Yeah. It's a little happy little bearded dragon. We could release him on the grass and let him run round. He doesn't run round. He just sits there like this. Come on. There you go. Go on. Freedom. I tell you what, Grandad. Seeing as though we don't use this, I'll let you have this as a garden patch. Not only because Dad just came up with the idea, this is yours. Right. You can do whatever you want with it. I'll bring some plants. Some plants? Brighten it up. Brighten it up. Alright, that's all yours, alright? Mate, Steve is freaking out right now. He's like, what is going on? You alright, buddy? You okay? It's okay. It's okay. If that would have hit me then, that would have also hit Steve, Dad. Oh, look at him. Oh. Alright, Steve, mate, I know you've had fun and you've been petrified of pretty much everything, but it's time to go inside. What is he doing? Da -da -da. Oh. Home sweet home. See you later, Steve. I like how I come out of my house because I think my granddad's gone. My dad's trying to squirt me my hose, but if I look up the road, my granddad snuck all the way up the road. What is he doing? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, this is where I'm supposed to be going, and it says, oh, Opens at four, and the website opens at three. Ah, exactly. Blah. I have to come back in forty-five minutes. Oh, the sun is so nice. It's about damn time. I've been wondering where these little buggers are. No way, they just dropped off the first sheep of the year. Ah, that's my sleep every morning gone. Hey, this guy's whipping out more sheep. What? No way. <laughs> That is amazing. I, I seem so amazed, but I've lived here for three years now and never seen this before. I fell asleep in the sun earlier. Should have been a great idea. Nope, look at my legs. Normal looking leg, sunburnt leg. Normal looking leg, sunburnt leg. Oh my God. I am a fucking idiot. Oh, that's painful. I am so burnt. Look at the side of my neck. I'm so red. I set my alarm for 15 minutes. I woke up an hour later. 
Where's my dad? Dad! That's for you. It's here. My barbecue. It arrived. Oh! Yeah, buddy! That's what I'm talking about. My barbecue has arrived. Nice. Here we go. Thank God I don't have to build it though. I'm letting him do it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. No scratches, no dents. For a brand new barbecue. Then, some brand new bloody sheep. Look at this. They've just, just come in the field today. My brand new neighbors. They're just fucking kicking back. Look at that, that's a fucking crow, mate. Oh, I can fuck off. You know what, look at that, mate. That is beautiful. That is my future lamb chops right there. Bloody loving it. To any Aussies or Kiwis, sorry for the accent, I'm sunburnt, so there's instant karma. You were the reason why I, I, my, I crashed from round 80 last night. Mm -hmm. And you were the reason I crashed from round 74 last night. What have you got to say for yourself? Yo, let's go. Okay, can you open the door? I literally got no hands. Thanks, bro. Bitch! <laughs> my dad just drove past us as me and Tom MC are walking to the pub. He could have given us a bloody lift. Cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Oh yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I brought a guest. Hello. Can you feed us, please? Yeah, please. Salt pepper chicken for starter. Yeah. That's hard. H2. Yeah. An actual Hummer. <laughs> Why is that in G Cross? What? Also, I've ordered salt and pepper chicken, Tom. Oh, yeah. No, oh, dude, look. Really, look how red I am. Look how red you are. Ah. Uh, yeah, but you don't need to go in the sun, mate. Just sit in the sun for an hour. Or fall asleep in the sun for an hour. <coughs> You've, my, my entire half of my face feels like it's made of plastic. What was that? I don't know. Uh, what are you getting for dinner? Burger. Burger. What burger. on it? What on it? Burger. Bacon. Bur ba bacon. Bacon burger. Oh, yes. We were just about to say, we've been waiting a while. Oh, salt and pepper chicken looking good. Oh, heated bowl and everything. Cheers, Becky. Mm. But it's pretty good. Oh, it is spicy though. My God, Parma ham wrapped chicken, rosemary potatoes, tender stem broccoli and pepper puree. Sold. Wait, I tell you something, this could be a fucking main course. Look at the size of it. Actually very nice. I'm actually going to eat the rest of the sauce. Just saying. Bloody hell, Tom McCallum's gone for a bacon bloody, but look at the amount of bacon he's put on that. I know it's so oh my there, god, he's got... Oh, try one of them. Fuck, look at the size of that! Ooh. Oh. Good. Ooh, yeah, very. Look at that. Chicken, potatoes, wrapped in parma ham with broccoli and... I'm not sure what that is. I still don't know what that is. Oh my god. Chicken wrapped in parma ham. Oh my god, that is like a 9.5. This is Michael Bublé, and I didn't know it was Michael Bublé at first, and Tom guessed it was. Now the song before it, I guess, was George Michael. Gotta have faith to faith. So that's 1-1, one, one. and whoever can guess the next song has to pay the bill, yeah? Deal. Deal. Can I use Shazam? <laughs> okay, Tom, I don't know this song. We'll have to go to the next one. Both of us, we tried. Not a clue. Is it One Direction or something? No, no way. No, it's not. Want you back. Jack, Jack, Jackson 5. I want you back. It's not I want you back. This is definitely Jackson 5. Flash is out. I don't know why my flash is on. This is really Flash is out. Do you really think it's I want you back? I want you back. What's the song? I want you back, Jackson 5. You're paying the bills. Come on. Good game. Me That's my dad. Wow, look how brown I look. Either brown or burnt, but I'll tell you what. 
10 months ago in the sunbed, I'm like, dude, just come to my house, chill out in the sun for an hour. It's because I'm wearing a white t-shirt, that's all I'm going to say, and I spilled food all down me. Ugh. Do you know what I know this song? Guardians of the Galaxy. No, I'm not. I might have a, let me have a look at the dessert menu, you might have a latte. Oh, I might have a latte. I didn't just have salt and pepper chicken, I also had robster, la robs, robst, robster ravioli, and a chicken main course, and a drink. Let's have a look at latte, shall we, Tom? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the best? How much is it? Go on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, how much is it? Scoop. Yes, boy. <laughs> Let's fucking have him. Where is he? Where is he? You get 9.5 today, brother. Okay, huh? 9.5. Mate. Very good. Very, very good. I'm, mate. I'm feeling pretty foot. Look at that in the cam. Oh my god, that is so red. That's not even funny. Yeah, I'm pretty red. Dear vlog, you may not have seen it in there, but I am extremely sunburned. Are you ready? Oh boy. Now that is a car. That is one swiggity swaggity vehicle mobile. Tom, wait for me. Tom, wait. We're in Tom McCallum's brand new bedroom. Ignore the fact that there's no carpet because he's moved in, but look at how modern all his setup is. This is a sick layout. I like how Tom's uh, been here for less than like uh, two weeks or something, and he's already managed to furnish his own bedroom. Can you do my house? Wait, what? You have a coffee machine in your bedroom? Yeah. Go Bro. Big, go big or go big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at that. He's got Amaretto and then a Baby Deserano. Oh, the whey protein. Best team in the world. The best team in the world. Best team in the world. Oh, you're talking about that really crap football team over there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks for the lift. I'll make sure I recycle your rubbish for you. Bye, Tom. Bye bye. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's been decided. I am not tanned. I am extremely sunburnt. So, this tan. Ow! Oh. Boop. has to go. So rather than me being burnt like a shrimp, I'm going to say, screw it, be proactive, go to my local shop, buy aloe vera, and lube the living shit out of myself like a slug. And try and sleep tonight. All right, no joke. I'm trying to be as manly as possible, but I just can't do it. My body is stinging from sunburn. So uh, I'm going to go to the shop, buy some lotion, and lube myself up. <laughs> It gets worse. I've even burnt my eyelids. Look, I burnt my eyelids. My burn. Oh my god, this sucks. Tom, what we doing this weekend? What we doing? Getting fucking messy. <laughs> you feel sorry for me. I feel sorry for me. I just went up to that lady and said, uh, "You may notice what I did. How bright red do I look? Very. Very obvious." I just went up to her and went, you might notice what I need. And she was like, oh, oh yeah, you're going to need all of it. So I've got aloe vera, pain medicine, and after sun. I'm so fucked. And let's take a look at my sunburn. Oh, look at that. That's not even funny. Oh. Oh, God. Next day, feeling uh, not so painful to be honest. I've just been lubing myself up ridiculously with mad amounts of aloe vera. That stuff is like a life service. So thank God I don't have any prickly heat or sun stroke or anything like that. But I got to start my new day now. I'm going hanging out with my granddad. So you have to find out what happens then in tomorrow's vlog. So make sure you leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys then. But always um, have, have, a, have a nice week, you know? It's one, of those, it's one of those weeks. The weather's a bit eh in the UK, but if you are from the UK, make the most of it and uh, have some fun. I'll catch you guys later. Adios.